We all know how important receiving feedback is. Think about it. We look for it everywhere. At sporting events, the doctor's office, even when we are traveling. Most of the feedback we receive is face-to-face, -face, which makes virtual feedback a bit of a challenge. As an online instructor, giving feedback is one of the most important things that you do. Sure, you have access to email and can respond to papers and discussion posts, but is that enough? How can you make the feedback meaningful and constructive while keeping students engaged? Research shows good feedback practice, clarifies what good performance is, develops reflection and self-assessment in learning, delivers high-quality information to students about their learning, encourages teacher and peer dialogue around learning, improves motivation and self-esteem, closes the gap between current and desired performance, and provides information to help shape the teaching. So what can you do in your online class to align to these principles? Most of the feedback you give online is asynchronous or happening out of sync with the students. You're probably already doing a few of these things, like using rubrics, posting instructor comments to submissions, and sending emails. Traditional asynchronous methods are good, but the message and the meaning can be delayed. Adding synchronous or real-time methods helps to overcome the lack of live interaction, a big concern in online teaching. Examples of synchronous feedback include setting up online office hours for student chat, live webinars, chat rooms, or even web tools like Google Hangouts. You can set these up with minimal effort and can do individual sessions or groups at a time. Synchronous tools help to overcome the lack of real-time interaction and give students opportunities to seek immediate clarification. This leads to better understanding of desired outcomes and stronger instructor-to-student relationships. There's a lot you do every day, but one of the best things you can do is give meaningful feedback. Using a combination of asynchronous and synchronous tools will help you give high-quality feedback, increase student engagement, and enable you to build a sense of community within your class. Thanks for watching.